G'day, welcome back to Buildsum, and this is presentation number 16 on my series on the timber framing code. And in this one, we're going to look at the underpurlin. So there's two ways we can go about working out our underpurlin. You could um, try and work out where your possible um, strutting points are in your roof, work out how far apart they are, and then uh, work out what size member would span that distance. Or the other way to do it is to pick a purlin size uh, and then work out how far it will span and then try and work your strutting points to that. So that's the way I'm going to do it. I'm going to pick a size and work with that. So the size I've picked is 140 by 70 or as it's expressed in the actual code to 140 by 35s. So they're obviously nailed side by side, nail laminated together to form effectively a 140 by 70. So the rules that we need to look at, rule 7.2.10 uh, and 7.3.12 and that refers to table 28 as the table we need to work out our span. So we're looking for the span of a 140 by 70 as an underpurlin. So rule 7.2.10.1 general says that underpurlins shall be in single lengths where possible and shall be in straight runs at right angles to the direction of the rafters where two or more rows of underpurlins are required they shall be equally spaced between the ridge and the walls top plates point two says that where underpurlins are joined in their length the joint shall be made over a point of support with the joint halved lapped and nailed so they have to be joined over a, a strutting point Alternatively, underpurlins shall be lapped a minimum of 450mm and spliced with six through nails or three number 14 type 17 screws or two M10 bolts through the splice. Laps shall be made over a support, so again over a strutting point. We can cantilever our underpurlins. The end of an underpurlin may project or cantilever beyond a support by up to 25% of the maximum allowable span of the underpillin, provided the actual back span is at least three times the cantilever length. So we can cantilever our purlins if we need to. Rule 7.3.12 says that the size of underpillin shall be determined from span table 28 of your supplements. End of the purlins again may project, so we've done the cantilever thing. So table 28 looks like this. Um, we need to know our roof load width. So I wish that could go away. You know, so we need to know our roof load width. Uh, in this case, it's 1.8. We know our rafters are spaced 600 apart, and we said before we were using two. 140 by 35 so we're going to use that and we know that our uh, roof mass was 10 so according to our table we can span 3.6 meters between our struts so it means we need to have a strutting point every 3.6 meters so there we go we now know, know the size of our underpillin 140 by 70 and we know that we can it can span 3.6 meters or 3,600 millimeters.